In this lecture, we're going to discuss specifying possession and contraction with the apostrophe. Now, I know you probably don't even know what an apostrophe looks like, but don't worry. By the end of this lecture, you're going to know what one looks like and you're going to know how to use it. Let's begin by looking at simple possession using apostrophes. So here's standard possession. What you do to indicate possession is to use an apostrophe followed by the letter S. So let's take a look at some examples. Here's a standard possession examples. Or here are, here are standard possession examples. This is Brian's comb. Because the comb belongs to Brian, I say Brian apostrophe S. And there's what an apostrophe looks like. It's just to the left of the Ender key on my keyboard. My wife's purse, the wife belong or the purse belonging to my wife. And there's apostrophe S again. And the train smokestack, apostrophe S after train. Now, of course, it would be just too simple if that was the rule for using apostrophes. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch more rules. Possession with words ending in S. To indicate possession when working with a word ending in S, simply add an apostrophe. So you don't add the apostrophe S. You add just the apostrophe. Let's take a look at some examples. Bess's hat is there. So Bess ends with an S. So rather than saying, well, I say Bess's, but rather than writing Bess's, B-E-S-S -S apostrophe S, I just write B-E-S-S -S apostrophe. The same is true of James. So James suit. The boss's desk is here. All of them you just put an apostrophe at the end to indicate possession because they end in S. Phew. So we made things a little more complicated, but I think I can handle it. We'll get ready for the next exception to the rules. Possession with plurals. Simply use an apostrophe to indicate possession for plurals again. This is kind of an extension of that ending in S rule, but it's a little more specific. So the bird's home is there. This is possession by many birds. So it is the home of multiple birds. And to indicate that, you say birds. And because it ends in S, well, actually, because it's plural, you add an apostrophe. The same, the exercise's purpose. So this set of exercises possesses a purpose. So that's where you would use just an apostrophe again. Shoo, okay, it got a little more complicated, but we can handle it. Then we have unique forms of possession, like her home is there. That is his bicycle. So his and her are special cases for indicating possession. What about contraction? <laughs> this is the other use of apostrophes just to double the confusion. Here, I'm going to show you contraction in a table. Formal is to spell out it is. Casual is to use the contraction with an apostrophe, it's. So you can say it is cold, or you can say it's cold. Cannot becomes can't. Notice where the apostrophe goes. We have N apostrophe T, that shows up a lot. Notice it shows up in won't and it shows up in don't, the contractions of will not and do not. And then we've got the special cases I've for I have and I'll for I will. So that's contraction using apostrophes. And the only thing that I can recommend is that you pretty much memorize, you know, the hundred or two contraction words and go with it. You're, you're going to learn from experience and most automated editors will find contraction errors for you. Now, that's got to be all the complication, right? Not quite. There's it's and it's. 
The problem with its is that both the possessive form of it and the plural form of it are the same, namely it apostrophe s. So how are we going to clarify between possessive and the contraction? Well, this is the way we do it. We use no apostrophe to indicate possession. It's. Give to it its due. This is an its example. Rather obscure, but it works. And then we use an apostrophe to indicate contraction. So no apostrophe possession, apostrophe for contraction, as in, it's a good day to be alive. It's lovely to see you. It's what it is. So apostrophes for contraction and no apostrophes for possession. Now, in summary, let's look at these rules, and they're really not as complicated as you would think. For simple possession, add apostrophe s, as in this is Brian's course. Possession with words ending in s, just add an apostrophe, like Bess's book is blue. Possession with plural, it's kind of the same because most plurals end in s. The bird's bath is in the backyard. That's many birds, birds plural, possession is the apostrophe. Contraction, uh, you got to learn kind of all the rules. But I found that n apostrophe t, apostrophe ll, and apostrophe ve get you quite a bit. As in, I can't attend. That can be I cannot attend if I want it to be more formal. I've got another party I'll miss. That could be I have got another party I will miss. See, that sounds a little stilted if you go that way. It sounds better since you're talking about partying and stuff to be a little more informal. What about it's? We have it's possessive without the, uh, without the apostrophe, and we have it's the contraction with the apostrophe. And that's it. That is the rules for using the apostrophe. Sorry, they're a little more complicated than you would think, but I think you can handle it. And I hope you can, because in the next lecture, we've got combining words with hyphenation. More syntax to learn.